So in this demonstration, we're going to show how we can use the asset catalog in BlazeMeter continuous testing platform to store MAR files that are generated from the CA dev test product and then be able to deploy those to that dev test product. So on the UI, we're now in the, the mock service screen of BlazeMeter CT and we're going to go to the asset catalog. Now what you'll see is where we used to have the transactions, we've now also got a new tab called MAR files. And in here, you can see the catalog of my existing MAR files. I'm going to load a new one. So if I go to the upload your files, we're going to point to this ATM MAR file and click open. Now at this point, we can assign this MAR file to a service. Uh, services are good ways of actually grouping these MAR files together. And we're going to put this to online banking service. And we can then define tags. So we're going to assign the tag of an ATM and of a service. We click import. That MAR file is now loaded onto the platform and added to the catalog. So what you can now see at the bottom of the screen, there's our MAR file. We can expand that to then look at the contents. We can see any tags that have been signed. We can give it a description. So we're going to say this is our ATM search service. Now what we can also do I save that, is expand out the actual MAR file to see the contents. So at the bottom of the screen here, we can see that this is the content of that MAR file. Uh, this is the request data, and this is the response data. So here's the response that will come back for that request. If I minimize this MAR file and look at this other example here, uh, this example has lots more in the way of content. So we have various requests and if I click on the responses you'll see the different responses that come back for the different requests that are part of the service. Now, now that service is loaded into the asset catalog that is available to us to deploy. So to deploy these MAR files I go to the mock services and on the right hand side we have this plus button and there's now two new options there's the create from MAR file and that will take that MAR file that is in our asset catalog and deploy it we can also do create from recording. This allows us to integrate with what's called a proxy recorder to record a service and then take that recording and replay it as a virtual service. Now we're going to do create from MAR file. Now we give it a name. So we're going to say it's my, my ATM service. We then select from the services um, the filter to look at which MAR files we want to deploy. And we're going to select the online banking. Now at the bottom of the screen, we'll then see uh, the list of all the, the MAR files that are part of that service. And we're going to select this ATM MAR file that we just deployed. And this is the one we're going to use to deploy. We can also go into parameters to set things like the think time scale. So within the, the MAR file itself, there'll be think times. And you can adjust the scale for the MAR file that's been deployed um, to adjust those settings from, that are set within the MAR file. We've also got, if you're using the, the performance VSE, uh, an adjustment for the concurrent capacity as well. So we're going to leave those on defaults, and then we're going to choose the VSC we want to deploy to. So I click on this drop down. Um, I can now see the VSCs that are running within my, my dev test environment, running within the Broadcom network in this case. And we're going to choose VSC2 as our target to deploy to. And we click Run. And now we're now taking that MAR file that's in our asset catalog and we're pushing it to that VSC and starting it. So in a few seconds, we'll get the notification back to say that's completed uh, along with the endpoint. So here's our endpoint. So we can copy that. Now if I go to a URL and we just paste that into there and we query that service, you can now see we're getting a response back from that service. So if I go to, to our dev test product and we go and look at VSC2, what we'll see is that that MAR file has been deployed and we now have a running service. So here's my, my service. If I expand this slightly, you'll see that's the uh, deployment time. So it's been deployed 30 seconds ago. Um, we can see the transaction count. So if I go and hit refresh on this, we go back we'll see that counter increment so we can see that, that service is actively being communicated with uh, from from the blazemeter ct platform 
we can now see it's running. Um, we can do other things from here. Now I can choose to stop the service. So if I stop the service within BlazeMeter CT, that will force the service to stop within uh, that VSC. So now it's stopped. If I go back and hit refresh here, we'll now see that service is no longer running. So what I've just shown you is how we can now integrate the BlazeMeter continuous testing platform with existing CA dev test implementations. Thank you.